Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys my all-time favorite creamy butter mashed potatoes recipe. It's made with lots of butter and cream and I'll be sharing with you guys the one ingredient that I always add to these mashed potatoes to make them the best ever. This recipe is my go-to recipe. I use it year-round but I especially love it during the holiday season for Thanksgiving and Christmas with turkey and gravy and lots of sauces. It is so incredibly delicious plus it's super super easy to make. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make the best mashed potatoes. And let's get things started with the potatoes. So today I have five pounds of russet potatoes and this is really the best variety of potato for mashed potatoes. It yields a really fluffy and creamy mash compared to other varieties that can make your mashed potatoes a little too watery or too gummy. This is the variety that I recommend using. And what I love about this recipe is you can scale it up or down very easily. So if you need less mashed potatoes, just cut this recipe in half. If you need more, just double it up. Now let's get to prepping the potatoes. So we need to peel these, we'll chop them up and we'll get them into the pot. And you want to start by peeling the potatoes. You want to make sure you get rid of any knots, any brown spots that might make your mashed potatoes not perfect. And place your peeled potatoes into a large bowl filled with cold water. This will prevent the potatoes from browning as you're peeling the other potatoes and I'll give them a quick rinse so you want to get all the dust off of them. And that's it, my last potato. And if you have a good peeler, this really only takes about five minutes. I love this one, it's from Williams Sonoma. I'll include a product link up on my website. Drop that in. And once you have all your potatoes peeled, it's time to chop them into smaller pieces. So I like to cut the potatoes into chunks. And the most important thing is to keep the chunks similar size. That way the potatoes are going to cook very evenly and you're going to have the smoothest and creamiest potatoes. And now that I have my potatoes peeled and chopped, it's time to get them cooking. I'm going to prepare them in a large pot and the first thing I'm going to add in is my secret ingredient that I add to all my mashed potatoes and that's four cups of chicken broth. You can also use veggie broth for this step. I'm just going to pour that right in. And this is going to add so much incredible flavors to the mashed potatoes. You guys are going to love it. And now we're going to transfer the potatoes into the pot as well. And I will be adding more water in there. And you want to add enough water to cover the potatoes by a few inches. I'm going to cover my pan with a lid and bring the potatoes up to a boil over high heat. Once they're boiling, I'm going to turn that heat down to a medium high and let them cook away for a good 20 to 25 minutes. The timing all depends on the size of your potato chunks. So if larger pieces, it's gonna take a little bit longer. If they're smaller, it's gonna take a little bit less. The potatoes need to be really soft, fork tender. Once they're nice and soft, I'm gonna drain out the liquids and then we'll come back to finish off the potatoes. I just drained my potatoes and now I'm going to transfer them into a large mixing bowl. And while these potatoes are still piping hot, I'm going to add in one cup of high quality salted butter. I'm using a grass fed butter. You want a butter that has a really rich yellow color. It's going to add so much incredible flavor to these potatoes. Just trust me, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to drop it in. I'm just going to kind of cover the butter with the potatoes and allow the butter to melt. And when I just started making the mashed potatoes, I took out the butter as well and I just let it soften to room temperature. That way it's not super cold and it doesn't cool down the potatoes as it melts. Next, I'm going to add in a few tablespoons of cream and I'm going to grab my mixer and I'm going to start mixing the potatoes. And as I'm mixing, I'm going to keep adding more cream. You want to add the cream as needed so you don't add too much to start with. And these potatoes are just about done. I like to give them a mix with a spatula just to make sure that they're extra creamy and smooth. And this is also a really great time to taste test them to see if they need any extra salt. And then we're going to transfer this into a serving tray and these potatoes are ready to be enjoyed. And then when I'm serving the mashed potatoes, I like to pour a little bit more melted butter mixed with some herbs like a dill and parsley over the top. This is just going to make the mashed potatoes look extra special. Mm -hmm. 
And that is it guys for my creamy butter mashed potatoes for the fall recipe. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box. I have a link there that'll take you over to my website where you could print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. And now time to dig in and enjoy. These look so creamy. I love the addition of that herb butter on the top. And these are gonna be so fantastic for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, but really any time of the year, especially with braised meats, mashed potatoes is the thing to have. Mm. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to love these mashed potatoes. There is so much incredible flavor going on. They are just so silky and creamy and buttery. So much flavor, especially from the chicken broth that we added in there. The chicken broth adds like this really great umami kind of flavor. It's not overwhelming at all. And then you have that rich butter flavor all combined together, especially with the herb butter on the top. It is just perfection. All I'm missing is my garlic herb turkey, a little bit of gravy, some cranberry sauce, and this would be the most perfect dinner ever. I'm going to include those recipes down in the video description box below as well. I hope you guys enjoy these mashed potatoes over the holidays or year round. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.